you know you don't have to act with me, Steve. You don't have to say anything and you don't have to do anything. Welcome to Miss Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the stars whose real-life relationship magic carries over onto the big and small screens. You're doing it, hun. We both are. We're actualized. Number 10, John Krasinski and Emily Blunt. Christmas with the Crunts, come and have a drink. <laughs> That's gonna go wrong, really. That's why I like it, just living on the edge. For years, fans have been falling in love with these two in their talk show appearances, but it wasn't until their 2018 sci-fi horror hit, A Quiet Place, that we got to see that romance transfer to the screen. I think it's the greatest collaboration I've ever had in my career. I, I've never seen her work, and when you are actually in the room and she does what she does, it Honestly, it changes the air in the room. The result was great, though not nearly as funny as their real-life relationship. Instead, we were treated to an intense and emotional story directed by Krasinski about two parents trying to keep their family safe from an alien menace. But their mutual passion is apparent. A scene where their characters share a silent dance in the basement to Neil Young's Harvest Moon gives off more sparks than a downed wire. Just like children sleep Number 9, Channing Tatum and Jenna Dewan. Cast as dancers with vastly different styles, who, inevitably, develop a very strong attraction to one another, Channing Tatum and Jenna Dewan met on the set of 2006's Step Up. Catch me. Despite the dance-heavy romantic drama, their connection wasn't just physical. Clearly, the two had a lot of inspiration to draw upon for their more romantic scenes. There's a lot of things that I want now that I didn't used to. I even catch myself every once in a while actually thinking I can have them. Their chemistry was so explosive it launched a franchise and gave both of them careers. It also made them tabloid fodder, because they started dating after meeting on the set. They married in 2009, and though they've since divorced, there's no denying these two were electric together. I can't do this right now. This is everything that I've been working for. I know, and I'm sorry. I just wanted you to be able to do this the way you imagined it. Number 8, Paul Dano and Zoe Kazan. Having dated since 2007, writer and actress Zoe Kazan wrote the 2012 film Ruby Sparks for herself and husband Paul Dano to star in. I don't need anyone else. A lot of pressure. This rom-com is about an author, played by Dano, whose character comes to life. Needless to say, they fall in love. What did you think the first time you saw me? I thought you were the most beautiful girl I ever saw. While both are terrific actors in their own right, it's hard not to see the softness and the care that they have for each other here. Even if you didn't know they were together, they play out this odd and meta love story in such a believable way. When you know that they're actually together, it gives it even more layers. I guess I was looking for you. It just took me a while to find you. Number seven, Javier Bardem and Penelope Cruz. These two incredible actors made their first film together over 30 years ago. Penelope Cruz's breakthrough role in Hamon Hamon saw her cast opposite Javier Bardem as her romantic lead. It wasn't until they were reunited on the set of the 2008 movie Vicky Cristina Barcelona that they began their relationship. Given the passion on display in that movie, it's not hard to see just how deep their connection really goes. They've since had incredibly juicy parts, like a couple in Crisis in the 2018 drama Everybody Knows. Bardem and Cruz have been married since 2010. Well, the answer is of course. <laughs> so here we are. Uh, there's nothing to th think to. Number six, Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman. Let's pretend. I'm your wife. Even when their star vehicles didn't please the critics, there was something incredibly magnetic about this former A-list Hollywood power couple. 
Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman began their romance on the set of Days of Thunder, a drama about a race car driver, and there's no denying the two steam up the screen. I wasn't ignoring you. I gave you a very thorough physical. Their second movie, the epic Far and Away, was mostly critically maligned, but their work in Stanley Kubrick's Eyes Wide Shut is made all the more shocking because of their real-life marriage. As a husband and wife haunted by questions of intimacy and infidelity, the two lend a haunting realism to an incredibly surreal story. Forever. Mm, let's, let's not use that word. It frightens me. Number five, Kirsten Dunst and Jesse Plemons. It's not been easy lately, but we're coming together now, working as equals. Kirsten Dunst and Jesse Plemons married in 2022, but their partnership was creative before it was romantic. When the Fargo co stars announced they were dating, it suddenly made their pitch perfect scenes together make that much more sense. Energy wise, you know, I mean, you gotta admit. We were stuck in the mud, emotionally, I mean, and then now we're flying. Though they've only appeared on screen together twice, both times made a lasting impact, and one even saw both of them doing career best work. As married couple Peggy and Ed Blomquist on the anthology series Second Season, the two were simpatico from the start. Their work and on screen chemistry only deepened in the powerful 2021 western The Power of the Dog where the tension between them was palpable. I just... I want to say how nice it is not to be alone. Number four, Goldie Horn and Kurt Russell. When they met on the set of 1984's Swing Shift, Kurt Russell was determined to be all business. It's great working with you. And um, I think you're the best lead man on the line. And uh, I, just, I just know you're a swell fella. A chance date to the Playboy Club to work on a scene for the movie led to a romance that's lasted over 40 years. From the jump, they make falling in love on camera look so effortless. Oh, I wish it could be like this forever. Why not? They also played polar opposites in Overboard, a romantic comedy where a handyman tricks a rich heiress into thinking they're married. And it's charming because of the couple's magic. Even as they fight and play up their screen personas to the nth degree, there's something about their differences that just seem to fit so well together. My children are the spawn of hell and you're the devil. Oh, God. Baby, we like you. Number three, Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall. To Have and Have Not was a wartime adventure movie that didn't have critics falling over themselves. It might have been forgotten if not for the blazing hot chemistry between stars Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall. You know how to whistle, don't you, Steve? You just put your lips together and blow. We can't ignore the whopping age difference. The 44-year-old Bogart was by then an established leading man, while the 19-year-old husky-voiced Bacall was just starting out at Warner Brothers. Together with his callous and cool persona and her sultry and commanding presence, they were an unlikely yet perfect match. What'd you do that for? I've been wondering whether I'd like it. What's the decision? They appeared together in film noirs like The Big Sleep and Key Largo, further cementing the legend of Bogey and Bacall. The two married in 1945 and remained together until his death in 1957. I like that. I'd like more. That's even better. Number two, Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt. 2005's Mr. and Mrs. Smith starred two of Hollywood's hottest stars as two married assassins hired to kill each other. You still alive, baby? 
Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt famously began their widely publicized romance, dubbed Brangelina, on the set of the movie. Sizzling sexual tension is not all that's on offer. It's made that much more suspenseful by the way they spend the movie drinking each other in with their eyes. You kind of start to feel like you're intruding after a while. You think the story's gonna have a happy ending? Happy endings are just stories that haven't finished yet. Shockingly, the two only starred in one more movie together, 2015's Forgettable by the Sea, which was released shortly before their relationship dissolved in accusations and acrimony. Can we get out of here? Can we get out of here? Can we just go? Let's just go. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton Plenty of Hollywood co-stars fell in love on the set of a movie. Case in point, most of this list. But few burned up the screen quite like Liz and Dick. But I will never be free of you. Rumour and scandal followed them from the moment the two married stars fell in love and lust on the set of the disastrous epic Cleopatra. Their volatility on screen was matched only by the drama of their real, highly publicised marriage. Come, come, you wasp. In faith, you are too angry. If I be waspish, best beware my sting. And my remedy, then, is to pluck it out. <laughs> I, if the fool could find where it lies. Whether they were tearing up the scenery and each other in acclaimed dramas like Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf or in one of their less remembered projects, they were always thrilling to watch. You are not man enough. You haven't the guts. Total war. Total. Which of these Hollywood co-star couples is your favorite? Let us know in the comments. This is better than anything. This place, the music, dancing with you. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.